Luke chapter 2, verses 28 to 39, the songs of Simeon and Anna. Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to cause the falling and the rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be spoken against so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple but worshiped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. This is Megan and Curtis Saunders on December 17th, um, reflecting on Luke chapter 2, verses 28 to 39, about Anna and Simeon. And so um, we'll each share things that stood out to us. For me, Megan, um, I was just really impressed by um, the faithfulness of both Anna and Simeon and how they were both had been praying um, and were truly righteous. And this is some imagining, but I in juxtaposition to the Pharisees who like had a lot of outward acts of righteousness, how in, but then they weren't actually ready to see, receive Jesus, that Anna and Simeon were both ready to receive him and could recognize him and were excited. And so they had a true righteousness and imagine a more humble righteousness that even though they were both really devout and faithful people, they had, um, that they were, I imagine them going to the temple daily, really quietly, as opposed to focusing on outward things. So I just was just really struck by the, the quiet faithfulness of both of them and that their hearts were in a place to receive Jesus when he came and hope that my heart is in the same place. And this is Curtis. So for me, uh, in reading it, I was thinking about how here we are in the season of Advent right now, waiting to celebrate the birth of Christ on December 25th. But we're also in a season of waiting for the second coming of Christ. We do not know when that will happen, unlike December 25th, where we do know, you know when to celebrate the birth, but we know that it will. So Simeon's song of praise reminds me of the goodness of God and how God keeps the promises that he makes to his people. Simeon knew this and witnessed God's promise fulfilled before his very eyes. So waiting is not always something that's easy for me. When I read a book or watch a movie, a lot of times I just want to know how the story ends. And so I'm reminded here in this scripture that just as Simeon believed in and waited for God to fulfill his promise, I also must wait. But I wait knowing that God's kingdom will come on this earth because I know, just as Simeon did, that God is good and that he keeps the promises that he makes to his people. Thank you. Thank you.